What is going on, YouTube? This is Acid Root. So I'm going to review the second EP by NF. Basically, this project is self-titled, and it came out in the summer of 2014. Now, this was kind of before NF's real... Now, this is before NF's real breakout album from 2015 Mansion, but I'd have to say, in my opinion, this might just be NF's best overall project. I just would have to say I liked Mansion quite a bit, and I also liked Therapy Session. I did like a number of his projects. I don't really think he has a particular just overall bad project, but I would have to say this one is definitely going to get a pretty high in rave score. I'm just going to have to say this is pretty much like my, this is probably my most favored NF project thus far. And I have to say this is just like a sheer burst of energy that just really hits on all cylinders and just really delivers. This is NF on some high octane type energy. Just does a lot of things right. Has some club type records on here. Has some good morose, has some good morose kind of energy. Has some pop rap kind of singles. Just does a lot of things right. Just has an overall lot of variety. And just within six songs, I'd have to say it's just kind of the concept. But it's just a real snappy kind of affair. And I definitely would have to say I don't know how hard to find this. I don't know how hard to find this particular EP happens to be, but I would still have to highly recommend picking up this because it's pretty much like a sheer classic, especially out of the mid 2010s or just the 2010s decade as a whole i'd have to say now it does have some songs that wind up being on mansion but i would have to say it's still worth the purchase as far as that kind of goes just because every song on here i recommend so i'm just going to go ahead and say just to kind of let the cat out of the bag that this ep is just to kind of let the cat out of the bag this ep is going to get a 10 out of 10 this is that sheer this is the first nf project i've given a 10 out of 10 but i definitely feel like it's just that much of quality i'd have to say this an overall just an overall sheer project like i was saying before so we'll go ahead and talk about the single off this particular project and we'll get towards it just so you can see what i'm talking about so basically the single off of here was all i have and this is the first and only single from this project is all i have and this is a song that showed up on 2015's mansion i'd have to say the other song that was on mansion was wake up so both of these are particular hit songs within the whole album the whole ep base but then the whole ep is basically recommended like i said 10 out of 10 so basically so basically all i have is like a pop rap gem with vintage nf kind of hazy ruminating and i'd have to say it's a stock cut for radio definitely and it's just kind of a trailblazing type song for 2014 i definitely feel like for this particular time i think the only real type of music that was similar to this in terms of the pitch that this particular song kind of had all i have at least at this particular time in 2014, was this Eminem's recovery. Now, Eminem's recovery was not Christian hip hop and things like that, more religious undertones. But I look after the concept of it, Eminem was basically like the only real one that kind of had this sort of subgenre kind of going, just with pop rap type stuff. I mean, maybe there might have been like one or two other ones, but for the most part, NF really commercialized kind of pop rap, just in like a more standard kind of makeshift and blue collar kind of sense that Eminem helped trailblaze with recovery. I just would have to say this is a real hit single. Really like the sample on here. It's this particular kind of standard type cut just for like the standard day commerce and commute as far as I can have it's just like a gloomy kind of midday kind of sense just something within that pitch it's a real nice one it's the sort of stuff that was found on perception and the search and some of those particular type albums and I would even say therapy session some of NF's kind of later 2010s albums as far as that pitch kind of goes it's just a good concept and it's just interesting that NF was doing this as early as 2014 as far as I kind of went maybe even earlier I mean I'm gonna have to listen to his 2012 EP and his 2010 album but it's just interesting that he had this pop rap type stuff that early it's a good concept so the rest of the album to recommend we'll just go down the list as far as these songs gonna happen so the next song I'm gonna recommend is Hands Up definitely thoroughly enjoyed this particular song this is kind of like a fiery riled up hands up is like a fiery riled up parting cut from nf i'd have to say it's just a craze kind of high octane fun that it has and it reminds me of his mansion days from 2015 it's definitely pretty catchy i'd have to say so this is definitely one of the riled up type ones nf has had songs like this on his 2015 album definitely had to say there's a couple of these he does do these on the small occasion he doesn't do them as much as he did back in 2014 2015 2016 but i would have to say it's just a good pitch to kind of get really like the high octane type energy of this particular one really has some pretty crazy energy and up just gets really riled up on this particular song it's just uh, it's just pretty it's pretty excellent to kind of get that particular pitch and this is definitely a ferocious kind of song that definitely deserves looking into i'd have to say it's this it's pretty radio ready like this whole ep is basically radio ready these are all commercial type tunes that even though nf was underground at the time these are still some ones that get some riled these are still some ones that get some fiery type energy that just work pretty heavily and just have that overall pitch great for radio also great for underground i had to say so some good stuff Another one that's kind of like that, not quite as high octane, but another good dance club type song I'd have to say is Only One. This is definitely like a solemn kind of pop rap ladies tune I'd have to say. is this, this, song has, this song has a surprising EDM backdrop I'd have to say. It's just a thrilling kind of surprise definitely. And it's just some great outing fare. So I definitely like the approach of this one. It's, in, it's interesting 
it's interesting to get NF on like some EDM type pitch. It's a good concept to kind of see that just in the commercial marketing as far as I kind of went. It's like the concept is having something that's so radio ready and just good happen, just a good amount of pep and just overall bustle to kind of have just within a sense of kind of outstepping, just having some of that particular type time. So it's a good kind of typical kind of EDM type tune. This kind of has like a good tint of energy for NF just within that kind of hazy EDM type feel that it kind of has. So it's just kind of one that has some snap towards it, but it's just kind of this uh, more morose. The song has a good amount of snap, but it's just pretty morose. And I like the concept behind that. So it's definitely a good pitch to kind of have that one. Thing Called Love is a pretty nice song. Definitely like this. Thing Called Love is a pretty nice one. Definitely enjoyed this one. This is like a gloomy haze of a beat, I'd have to say. It reminds me of Post Grunge Drear, I'd have to say. It's just hypnotic and captivating. This is just an overall stellar song. This has one of the best beats on the EP, I'd have to say. It's a real kind of Post Grunge type one. Something that you'd get from Nickelback, one of those type folks. Just something like Creed would do. Something in like a more rock kind of alternative metal type sense as far as I kind of have it's just a real good this real kind of hazy type beat that just works extremely well just really like the gloom just really like the gloom and kind of malaise of this particular one it's just a real nice one that NF just really pulls off quite well it's just a good concept I mean NF really has some good lyrical pitches on here he's definitely a pretty competent songwriter I do feel like NF's lyricism is just good on here in terms of the pitch of just being able to have these songwriting type ones where he gets lyrical but he also is someone that can have this be affable and just have chartability so he's kind of like a commercial rapper that you want to hear on the radio Radio just because he's kind of like Eminem in a sense where he can get lyrical, but it's just the same concept of being able to have something as like the commercial bite of being able to hear some this out and about as far as I can have. These are just great songs to kind of have in that pitch. There's just some great songwriting, an EDM song, a nightclub song, a post grunge song, a pop rap kind of tune, and all I have. So some of these particular type ones. I'll go ahead and talk about some of these next ones. So Wake Up is another nice one. This is kind of a morose, kind of personable cut, I'd have to say. It's just a very affable, moody vibes that this song particularly kind of has. And it's just a stock NF hit, I'd have to say. And it's just filled with vivid person. And this song is just filled with vivid personality. So this is definitely one of the more morose songs on this particular album. This is definitely one of the more morose songs on this particular album, as far as I kind of have. This one really kind of feels almost comatose, just in the sense of just kind of being like, damn, just really kind of like a real kind of somber and just a real kind of somber and solemn type tune that just hits extremely well it's just a good person will cut to kind of get and it just has that moroseness and just that overall kind of gloom that just works wake up is just a real somber and personal type cut that just works in that morose type sense just something affable just in the sense of having that radio ready kind of pitch but just kind of having some of that gloom and just standard drear that just works pretty damn well so this is another one that's kind of similar to all i have and just being me at so this is another one that's similar to all i have this is probably the most commercial of like the pop rap type tunes on this particular project but i would have to say this pulls off that vibe pretty damn well so it's a good concept to kind of get it and then just being me is another highlight off here this is definitely kind of more recent nf type there it's interesting that he was kind of <clears throat> it's interesting that he was doing like this operatic type pitch as early as like this particular album from 2014 because he definitely did this on like clouds and the search and perception and some of those type ones i'd have to say so it's a good pitch to kind of so it's a good pitch to kind of get this is like a riveting kind of dramatic pop rap horror core like vibe this is like a riveting kind of dramatic pop rap horror core like vibe that this particular song kind of has it just has intent this song just has an intensive beat and approach i'd have to say and it's just an overall shrill kind of hit so this is just a nice kind of pitch just to kind of get definitely like the particular vibes of this particular one if you like things so like there's like a particular song i'm thinking of by king gordy it's like off of his the entity album it's like called the darkness or something like that it's just a real uh, similar to king gordy's the darkness song off of his 2003 album the entity this really has like an operatic and this overall shrill this type pitch as far as the song this has an overall operatic type feel this really feels dramatic and just something that you would hear in like a theater or something like that this is very similar to the clouds album it's just interesting that that's seven years ahead of what would kind of happen and it's just kind of the concept that some of the songs like Clouds and some of those particular songs off that 2021 mixtape just kind of show up on this particular project just in an operatic, just kind of in an operatic and doomsday-like commercial horrorcore type pitch as far as I kind of have. So that's definitely the concept of this particular EP. So I'm going to go ahead and give this EP like a 10 out of 10. Like I was saying, this overall, this EP just has correct kind of stepping and this overall variety that just works pretty damn well. I'd have to say just a lot of good stuff to kind of see. NF is a great songwriter, just does a lot of things right. And he just has some great personality on this particular 
project it's just very gloomy and this morose kind of project that just pulls off the vibes this really feels like a good shot of something that eminem would have done on like relapse just in a more kind of commercial it's kind of a blend between relapse and recovery something like that it's just kind of a blend between relapse and recovery and some horror core as far as i kind of have it's this real morose type feel but pulls it off extremely well the social score i'm going to go ahead and give like a 10 out of 10 also just because the pitch of the social score i'm going to go ahead and give this ep like a 10 out of 10 just because it has like the correct approach as far as that kind of goes this does a lot of things right the variety behind the songwriting just the overall kind of beat productions and this kind of uh this execution how these songs particularly kind of happens just to be marveled at i just it's just to be marveled at i'd have to say so it's just a real classic ep that just within that just within six short songs managed to do it correctly and just overall have no filler just an overall quality this type of stuff that just really hits pretty heavily it's just too bad there's not any guests on here but apart from that this is really like a sheer quality project just without say 10 out of 10 social 10 out of 10 score the variety is great the overall nightclub and edm type songs really hit the overall nightclub and edm type songs hit pretty heavily there's just a lot of good moments to kind of have on this particular project so it just does a lot of things right in terms of the future like nf dropped an album in 2023 in terms of the future like nf dropped an album in 2023 so we'll have to get to some of those as far as that kind of happens i still have at least his 2012 ep and his 2010 album to get to but we're definitely going to get to some more of these but yeah this is basically but yeah this is basically like a classic ep and i just would have to say it's a sheer pitch and one of nf's best definitely for sure